So we got market moving. Um, real quick, I just kind of want to review through these time frames and uh, and go over a little bit of, uh, I guess, forming a, a bias top down. So obviously, starting at the daily chart here, we've got um, not a whole lot to go off of compared to you know where we were yesterday. We're just still hanging out in the in the range that we opened up in uh, on Sunday. So the daily, I'm not too concerned about all that much other than like maybe sweeping sell side, which is the previous daily low. Um, now, I believe we already swept this on ES. Yeah, so we already have taken the previous day low on ES. So that would be if price just expanded higher without taking out the previous day low on NQ, then that would be the reason why, obviously. So uh, it's possible that price could just expand higher without coming to take that out. Uh, I am wanting to see that taken out, though. We'll see. Uh, dropping down here again to the four hour. We've got, <clears throat> again, not really a whole lot of bias to go off of either other than that same exact order block that we marked out yesterday, right? So this order block here on the four hour chart is still being respected, which is interesting. So um, that is probably one of the only things that's giving me a little bit more of a nudge to the bearish bias. And then here on the hourly chart, uh, again, these you know equal lows here at the previous day low. Um, technically, this is the uh, the low of Sunday when the market opened, but Sunday and Monday on the daily chart go together. So you got these two lows stacked up here. Um, you got price currently in the next three minutes, possibly inversing this one hour bullish gap, which also lines up over here, like on the five minute chart and the 15 minute charts. You can see how that lines up with a, uh, a breaker here, <clears throat> right, inside of this fair value gap. So right now I'm leaning a little bit more bearish. I do want to see this taken out. Like I said, the only reason that it wouldn't come down here, in my opinion, would just be the fact that ES has already taken this out because we were trading lower yesterday on ES. Um, and then truthfully, man, yeah, I, I feel as if, um, well, let's look. So daily, uh, this previous weekly low. Okay, so I would actually use that to find my range because I don't I don't really believe that we would go take out the previous weekly low today maybe um, but that'd be a pretty big range if anything more I'd trade it into like OTE uh, and for sure into you know equilibrium potential rebalancing to go higher so right now I'm leaning a little bit more bearish let me know if you guys have any questions on any of that or if you guys are seeing what I am seeing and as far as that goes but that is what I am seeing and looking over here at 15 and five minute charts here on NQ. All right, we're tapping right now into the uh, the bearish breaker. Um, and we may, keep in mind though, the hourly candle could close and respect this bullish gap. And you know, if that happens, I'll just stay a little bit, stay a little bit more patient um, and just see if price wants to keep moving higher. If it does, you know, we won't fight it. And we'll look to see if there's any long opportunities for us to go attack like this buy side here. And then maybe the previous weekly high. We're a lot closer to the previous weekly high than we are to the previous weekly low. So let's watch this hourly candle close before we do much of anything else. And if we are indeed bullish, big if, but just rebalanced equilibrium just now. Remember, we, we did respect the, the one hour bullish gap. We respected it with the close. We closed right at the low end of it. Holy some How about that? <clears throat> you know, guys, I might even try a long from the inversion of this one minute gap. See if we inverse this, guys. I like the risk enough. It's only 19 points. We'll see if we inverse, though. 15 seconds. Might not have to worry about it. All right, let's, let's scrap that idea for now. I'm thinking we got five seconds. And if it just if it's like a weak close, I don't really care to take it. Yeah. So. All right. I'm staying patient. See what ES is doing. All right. So ES. Look over. Look where ES is compared to NQ. We've already formed SMT. I think. Right. No. Nope. Okay. Equal lows here. I want to see these taken out, preferably. And then if we sell out below here, we got SMT formed with NQ, because NQ won't be have to, won't be taking out this low. We do have DXY that I feel looks on this 15 minute chart. This looks bullish. And with these equal highs real close, 
man, I'd be I'd be a little surprised if Price just sold off without coming to grab these quick. If if DXY makes one little run up here, this is going to push indices down a little bit further. Tyler, have you seen a decline in your pe people in your Discord after your losing streak? It says a lot about people's discipline. Uh, yeah, huge huge decline. <clears throat> What's crazy is my my losing streak was only just losing my combine. Um, otherwise, it's not like we've just been insanely red. And the only reason the combine was lost was due to uh, the uh, the trailing drawdown. But you know, when when you got to compete against other people who run sales and don't show losses, you know what, what are people supposed to think? Oh my God, here's this guy that never loses. <laughs> Let's try that one. <laughs> uh, and they get there, and they're like, "What the fuck?" But you know, the the trading year is a long year. We got two hundred and however many days of trading, two hundred fifty or two hundred fifty two days of trading in the year. Obviously, probably a couple less with you know certain types of days, whether it's FOMCs or Powell speaking or things like that, but give or take over 200 days for sure. Probably 220 to 230. Um, it's a long trading year, so, you know, I, I always tell people like, if you're going to, if you're going to follow anybody, me or me or someone else, it's like, you really got to follow them for, I would say a minimum of like 90 days, just so you can kind of get a gauge for like everything. You, Cause in 90 days, you're probably going to experience good, bad, you're going to experience all the conditions, good conditions, bad conditions, everywhere in between. Winning streaks, losing streaks, et cetera, et cetera. But it is funny that, I mean, like you see all sorts of stuff. People come in, pretty much base everything off of, some people come in and base everything off of just like how you do like in their first couple of days. <laughs> they come in their first day's a loss. They've been in for 12 hours, they cancel. They say they're switching. It's like, bro, what are you doing? And it's like, what do you what do you say to these people? Like, do you just be mean to them and be like, bro, you're fucked. You're never going to make it. What are you doing? Because then it looks like I'm butthurt that they're canceling. And I'm not trying to give up that persona either because then it looks like I'm trying to, like, beg them to stay in the Discord. And I don't want to do that. He doesn't post losses, just got a divorce. Yikes. Oh, yeah, he's not the only one that doesn't post losses. <laughs> the other unfortunate part about... Uh, well, it's not not really unfortunate. It's just like unwarranted uh, information that sometimes I'm offered. There'll be people that you know leave this Discord, or maybe they're in other Discords, and then they'll be like, "Oh, bro, <laughs> did you know so and so um, has actually been on a losing streak and hasn't posted any of the losses anywhere?" Huh. Oh, bro, I didn't know that, but that's crazy. I don't doubt it. Well, welcome to trading. Welcome to trading. How good can you lose? Yeah, guys, we really have nothing to go off of right now, to be honest. Like, unless you're just going to pick a bias, like just pick shorts from this fair value gap or um, that one hour gap closing bullish. Like, maybe you're just thinking longs here. I don't I don't really know. I could see either way right now. But there's not really any <sighs> thing super clear to me at the moment. This one minute gap did actually hold for now. ES leaving these looking like for the moment. Potentially about to inverse this. This would be a breaker right here. All right, guys, get ready. We got 15 seconds or so left on this candle. Um, I might go ahead and take this long off the breaker here and run it up here. Okay, four seconds. I'm gonna put my one limit on here. See if we get this pullback. I, I got it set at the bodies. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. But that's it, guys. Any questions on the trade before we get triggered in or left behind? Have you thought about calling out some swing trades in the group based on ICT rules? Um, no, because I won't be taking them. If I'm not going to take them, I'm not going to call them out. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come grab me. Come grab me. Come grab me. All right, guys, I'm going to go long there. Boom. I jumped in. I'm taking my other contract off. I had a lot of room to work with because this was um, not that big of a stop. Probably going to get picked up anyway, but I just want to get left behind. My stop loss is now officially 20 points. Not too crazy. Risk is uh, 410. Okay. Yeah, not bad at all. 
Stop though. Minus 410. Or perhaps... Uh, do we get stop hunted? <clears throat> like, if that, what, if that is how this plays out, bro, I mean, just... It's just fucking nuts. Like, who do I write a letter to? All right, guys, I may... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt one more along here with one con. With this... Uh, okay, I'm going to go along there. And uh, I'm going to go stop here. So I'll stop here below what would become maybe this fair value gap candle. Let's see. I just really don't want to get fucking left behind. I really like this target. I really do. I really like it, man. I'm going to go stop here for now. But if this forms a fair value gap, I'm moving it up below this candle. All right, guys. Stop's going up a little bit just under this fair, fair value gap candle. Risk is now 285. DXY just hit the buy side here. First buy side level. That'd be good if that starts selling off for us. <clears throat> um, you guys, you guys don't even need to type the confluences out again, do you? They're this, they're literally pretty much the same thing. Just uh, IFVG entry more so than anything. Delivery as well. If you guys see here on the five minute chart on my lower left, we did hit the five minute inverse here as well with that push down. So this is a delivery from a five minute IFVG. No, sir. All right, guys. 0 and 2 down 6 something. 700, actually. Nice. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Ah, oh, gosh, dang it. I right, but I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to fire away at that the, those types of equal highs and lower as liquidity run. I'm going to do that, man. I'm going to take my shot on those. That's the thing. I might get rejected. I might hit a stop loss or two, but I'm going to take those trades. I'm going to fire away, man. I'm going to do it. Let's not forget this epic rebalance that we had as well. In the respect. I mean, the respect we saw in the move up, the displacement. We broke structure for cripe sakes and put more equal highs. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Yeah, so, I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. And uh, this, this second entry was really just trying to avoid getting souped. Like, right away, bro. And the risk the risk was tight enough. The, top, the stop was tight enough, especially when we were able to trim it up to this. Still below half percent lost. Anyway, who blew their account? <laughs> Let's speak up. Someone did it. Come on. Yeah, guys, your boy's going to go long again. Just, just FYI. Let's see if there was... Uh, okay. Holy shit. Fuck us. This finally happened. Crazy. Which is the SMT with this low here. Not going to go crazy. Just going to do one contract because if, obviously if we're wrong, I'm gonna, I don't want to get totally fucked today. But one poke into that fair value gap, guys. I'm going long. Not this gap. Not this one. This one. Ten seconds. Nine seconds. One more try. One more try. So what, I lose another 500 bucks? <clears throat> we hit the 30. Fuck you, dude. This thing's going to do it. Oh, my goodness. This thing's going to do it, isn't it? Bro. Bro. Don't do it. Oh my goodness. Everyone remain calm. <laughs> As I'm fucking freaking out. I'm debating if we try a long in here with stop below like this fair value gap candle. I might do it. I might do it. I might I might fuck around and do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna mark execute though. This fair value gap here. Stop below both fair value gaps. 
Still 20 points. It's the same. It's literally the same size stop. Maybe even less. I'm going off this body here, though. Shit. You guys can see it. You, go, you don't need me to draw a line. <laughs> you don't need me to draw a line. That's what I'm waiting for, though. Get down there. Get down there. One more. One more push, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. One more push. Come on. One more push. A little bit more. A little, just a little bit more. Not a lot. Just a little bit. You see how the, the two losses are? There we go. You see how the two losses are affecting my psychology a little bit? Like, I'm trying to be extra picky now. Extra picky now, which isn't bad. It's not like a bad thing, but... Sell. So stop. One more attempt, guys. One more. If I lose, I'm losing another 450. I'll be down at about 1100 on the day. A little over. If I win, sweet, man. I'll make 995 and I'll be up like 200 on the day. But holy smokes. Holy smokes. I've had it up to here now. But yeah, obviously, last trade of the morning. I think that goes without saying. It's been a rough one today, guys. It's been a rough one. Um, and honestly, this 15 minutes still could just screw us royally. Let's just call a spade a spade. Obviously, once we take out this level, I'll just remove my risk and we'll ride it out. Can we get there? Please don't seek and destroy today. For the love of God. Why do you got to do it to us? Every single AM session. Is this just going to be a 2024 thing? We're just going to do this all year? Are you never going to stop? You never going to stop? Please stop. I'm fucking tired of it. It's eating me alive. <laughs> Literally, it's eating me alive. Look at this 15-minute chart on ES, bro. What fuckery is going on right now? If you guys vote for Biden, get the fuck out of my Discord. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> no, seriously, though. If you vote for him, get out. <sighs> We're not friends. You're the enemy. I'll go down. I'll die on that one. And uh, for anyone wondering, the reason I chose this gap here was because it was the one that uh, took out structure. And was viewing this as a breaker. Now that we hit the lower gap, don't fucking come in here and be like, why don't you wait for the lower one? All right. Same with you, YouTube. Don't fucking do it. Because I just might fucking snap. <laughs> I just might lose my shit. Holy DXY dump. Go up. Up. Come on, guys. Give me ups in the chat. Fuck, dude. Why? Why are, you not go why are you not going up? Why? This thing is tanking. This thing is absolutely fucking tanking, bro. This thing is going down. Unlike my ex-girlfriend. That's why she's my ex. <laughs> yeah, sure, that's why. All the memes I could make, though, if we lose. So you gotta find the silver lining and everything. So the majority of my losses so far this year have been on that combine. But... I mean, ever since then, bro, it's like, it's just crazy. It's like I'm just constantly swimming over a waterfall. Two losses, one win. One loss, one win. It's insane. Like, last week, I lost eight trades and I won three. And I was still break even on the week. Like, I don't know why my win rate is just getting fucking dicked down right now. It's just getting absolutely... <laughs> but it's, I mean, and I'm not blaming the market for my losses. I take each trade. I own... I own the risk. I own the outcome. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not blaming the market. But we can't deny that we've just been stuck with a lot of seek and destroy conditions. And the right answer to that is like, well, I just have to get better at identifying that, I guess. So I can avoid trading at those times. That's the only right answer. So until I can... <laughs> but that's the thing. You can recognize it now. I can recognize it now. But... You're telling me, bro, like these people that sit here and they're, they're going to tell you, they're going to make it sound like they know everything. When we're doing like these big moves and like we're these night, like you're not going to know until it's, <laughs> until it's there. So like, I just find that so hard to believe. Now I will say this based on the economic calendar, you can anticipate it possibly being a thing, right? No news Mondays, uh, day before CPI. Like you've heard me say this stuff. So like you can anticipate it based on that. But, again, it's a whole different ball game when the candles are moving, the live market, you're seeing setups. Are you going to execute or not? Either way, you got to live with the outcome. Conditions, good or bad. And you don't know.
That's why you got to manage risk. Because you don't know. Every fucking day could be seek and destroy, for all we know. There's, there's high impact news today. Two, two red folders. But this is just the reality of trading, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how else to... I don't know how else to put it, man. I don't have a crystal ball. Nobody does. And uh, I can tell you this. This trade here that we're in currently, and the first trade I took, based on like the liquidity, the targets, it's not like ES ran all these buy these buy side levels out. And we just have crazy bullish SM, bearish SMT. If that was the case, then you could scrap this whole analysis. But it's not the case. I'm going to trade into those. I'm going to do that every fucking time I see it. And that's what you guys are seeing me do right now. I don't, I'm not happy that we had to take three attempts to try to do this, but that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. I don't apologize for that. I refuse. But holy see you can destroy today so far, man. This is just, God, just tears your soul out of your body. Makes you want to... <laughs> oh, this sucks. I hate it. I hate it, but I love it at the same time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be sick. Oh, I'm going to puke. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm down $1,100. $32.84 to be exact. Oh. You know it's bad when I put the hat on forwards. God damn it. <laughs> Guys, I, I actually don't know what to tell you today. All I can say is we got caught in some motherfucking chop. That is it, guys. That is it. Sorry that we got Seek and Destroy Day number 60 for the year. But uh, is there any questions? I don't think there is or should be. It's just the only answer is, the only right answer for today, in my opinion, would have been, I guess we shouldn't have been trading. Go figure. So with that being said, PM session should be better than AM session. And I will allow myself to lose about 1% on the day. That'll be my threshold. So I will look for a PM session trade. If it loses, I'll be done for the day. If it wins, can probably get back in profit for the day. But I had fun today. <laughs> you know, I really did. <laughs> God damn it. Well, anyway, guys. Hey, here's what I'll say. These are the days that make you as a trader. It's not the winning days. Those are easy. It's these days. All right. Did you manage risk properly to the best of your ability? Yes or no? Um, are you not going to take it so personally and emotionally that you just go off tilt and just make it worse than it needs to be? If as long as you don't do that, thumbs up there. What else can we take away, huh? And I just don't know. I, I just don't know how I could have anticipated a seek and destroy condition today. I really don't. Let's see. That's really the only thing that could have avoided all this would have been could we have anticipated that happening? Yeah, I mean it would have been a would have been a day where being on a higher time frame would have saved you, obviously, but equals and opposites to everything. There's days where you miss out because you're on the higher time frame too. So you can't just take one thing because you had a bad day and throw everything else out the window that's worked for you plenty of other times, right? So just keep it all in perspective to the best, the best of the, your abilities. Don't take it too personal. It's all good, man. Life will go on. There'll be another day in the market. But yeah, down 1100. Get this uploaded. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Someone just canceled. Oh, well, I'm sure he'll find a Discord where nobody loses ever. We'll just take her one session at a time. Execute and repeat. Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody. Stay strong. I believe in you. I'll talk to you guys later.